What is going on, guys? Ladies, gentlemen, everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the Beacon of Nick. It's been a minute since I've recorded a podcast here and even in general recorded a podcast. Um, I'm not even going to waste any more time, guys. We're going to jump right into this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go. In three, two, one, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Beacon of Nick podcast. We are back. This is the first podcast that I've done in forever. Um, guys, I miss all of you. I miss doing this. I miss the feeling that I get from being a podcaster. It's such a good feeling. It's an invigorating feeling. It feels good to be here. Um, man, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yesterday, my friend Ethan posted a video talking about how he doesn't post to YouTube sometimes because he wants to be perfectionist and he doesn't really know what to post. And it was like, it, it, honestly, I didn't, I, I hadn't even told him that I watched his video, but it was such a call out because it's exactly how I feel about my channel. Um, I miss doing this, guys. As most of you guys know, I've been busy. I've been working nights. I've been doing a lot of other stuff. Like I've been working weird shifts. I've been I've been doing other things in my life. I've been trying to spend my summer having fun, doing stuff. Um, but there's a lot of time that has passed between my last podcast and this podcast. The last two I posted were biking podcasts. Now I have this podcast. I I feel like I'm stuck in the limbo of not knowing what my podcast is and not knowing what I want to do. I started this channel because my other podcast with my friend Nick burned out in a big ball of flames and I still wanted to do YouTube because I really did enjoy it. I still do enjoy it. And I want to create a channel that is genuine in my own self. And this is my passion. This is what I want to do. This is what I really do love. Um, it's just, I'm having trouble figuring out how to do my channel, when to post, how often to post, how long to have my videos for, what I want to do. And this is just a genuinely heartfelt message to all you guys and i'm going to play a couple videos because obviously a lot of time has passed since my last upload and since we've talked about a lot of this stuff when it comes to video games and movies and whatnot and blah 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 blah, 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 blah all that stuff <laughs> um i miss you guys i miss the channel i miss doing this so much i miss the connection and i miss people being hey man i watched your podcast it was really good keep doing it i miss that so much it's so good to be back what do we got going on in the world? We got Marvel announcing the next phase. We got the new Pokemon trailers. We have Andrew Yang climbing the ranks of the Democratic nominations. We have all kinds of crazy stuff. We got, unfortunately, this is kind of like a bummer to say this, but we had two mass shootings last week. Um, and it's the most tragic thing ever. And the, the, the publicity, we got all kinds of stuff going on in the news today. The world is on fire, but it's also a realm of tranquility and peace and everything's perfect, even though everything's on fire. That's what I think about the world right now. Um, in my own, in my own biased way of looking at the world, everything's perfect, but everything's on fire. That's the, that's the nature of America in 2019. Everything's burning, but it's all perfect because the world's imperfect. And when, when, it, when the world is imperfect, you know, the world is perfectly healthy. I guess maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily mean that. I'm. I, I. I mean that in a way that's not necessarily literal. I'm not saying that it's it's okay when the world when everything's not okay because obviously we've all been in a place in our life where everything's not okay and it sucks. It really sucks. And right now I'm trying to be extremely genuinely honest with all of you guys about myself and I'm trying to be transparent. You know, I'm not trying I'm not trying to beat around the bush and and BS you guys and be like, "Hey, because before it was one of those things where I was so passionate. Like, I've never been I don't know. I've never been I've always been passionate about this, but I also do a lot of other things. So sometimes my my channel gets put on the back burner and I don't want that to happen any longer. Um I want to post regularly, and even though my, my friend Ethan said this perfectly, even though your videos are not perfect, just post because none of your videos are going to be perfect. And if you're looking for perfection, you're never going to post. If you if you wait till your videos are perfect to post, you're never going to post because you're you're never going to have a perfect video ever. Period. No matter what. So that's my only that's my biggest thing that I've learned throughout this entire process is that no video will ever be perfect, and that's perfectly okay. Um, it's perfectly okay, guys. Um, right now, guys, I had a crazy summer. I worked nights trying to remodel the Target store in Saginaw here. I remodeled that 
good fun. It was a lot of fun, hard work for sure. Tired all the time, came home, slept a lot. You know, I'd play video games for an hour or two. I'd read, I'd work out and I'd go right back to bed. It was a, it was a cyclical thing of read video games, work out, eat, sleep, go to work, bro, 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 just chugging away at the machine of life. Um, and yeah, that's the biggest thing. That's, that's basically it. And another thing that I've learned is that I hate uploading videos when I know other people can hear me talking into my microphone because I get so self-conscious and I lose my train of thought so often. I love it when I'm by myself and I have an unfiltered open mic so I can talk about whatever I want to talk about. And that's 100% That's hundred percent what I'm looking for right now in this life. So um, yeah, guys, the biggest thing, guys, I don't know if you... I, so I was up north in Charlevoix with some friends when Marvel posted their new lineup for Phase 4, and I just about had an accident in my shorts because I was so pumped, and they could probably they could probably tell you how pumped I actually was because it's it was insane. Um, they announced Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, or the Madness of the Multiverse, the new Thor movie, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Blade, B-L-A-D-E, Blade, that was one of them, um, and then amongst some others like Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, all this crazy stuff. We got coming down the pike. It's going to be great. Pokemon, Sword and Shield are coming out. I just, I just, I have, I'm going to buy Sword digitally the night of, and then I'm going to have Shield shipped to me the same day because I, I'm, I need both games. This is going to be the first console Pokemon game ever. So I'm about to basically lose my brains because I'm so excited and I'm so pumped. And I'm definitely going to be streaming those games. Um, Want to buy Luigi's Mansion coming out? Don't know if I will get it right away. Maybe, possibly, hopefully is my answer for that. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just looking forward to get back, getting the channel back to where it was, and trying to get, trying to get a, a, a culture and a, and a um, trying to get a community around this because I really do miss that. I was really growing for a long time, and I didn't put the effort that I needed to put into it, and that is on me. That is on me, and it's my fault, and it sucks, and it's my bad. Um, but I, um, I. I want to let you guys know that I'm happy to be back. And if you guys are watching this, I really genuinely appreciate it because I want to have this channel be the best, biggest thing I've like, I'm not even going to talk about what my, my goals are anymore. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to keep going for it. It's I'm good to be back. Let's keep going. Let's have fun. Let's keep chugging. And, uh, that's what I, that's, that's my dream. Right? That's my, that's absolutely my dream. So just have fun. That's it. Um, if you guys can see right here, um, I have uh, Marvel, the MCU announcement in San Diego, where they announced Fantastic Four, Blade, Mutants, all that stuff, all that crazy stuff. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of it. Um, but yeah, guys, I've been watching a lot of podcasts, reading, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I've been doing art here and there. I've been biking a lot, exercising, hanging with friends, playing video games, all the stuff that a normal 24-year-old man does, I guess. So, um yeah, look out for me streaming more, guys. I'm going to be streaming Rocket League a whole lot more. I'm going to be streaming all these games a whole lot more. Um, Mar I got Mar Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3. Have not streamed it yet. Actually, I, I probably... I'm a ways through the game already, but I'm gonna, I am gonna. I will stream that too. I might restream it on hard mode because right now I'm playing on normal. So that's kind of my plan for that. My 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 loose plan. Um, it's good to be back, guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. I'm going to make videos covering covering all kinds of stuff from everything that's been released nerd wise movies everything else my experience uh kind of dabbled in magic the gathering again for a little bit it's a little dangerous because i was pretty addicted before um all the games i'm playing right now uh the books that i'm reading all that stuff is going to be coming down the pike i'm gonna be talking big about the de the election in 2020 the democratic pri the democratic uh nom nominees and who's been who's basically already a shoe in for the next debates. Who's going to make it? Who's not? Andrew Yang is a hundred percent in there. I think, I believe Tulsi Gabbard is too. I don't know for sure. Obviously Biden, Bernie, um, Pete Buttigieg, Booker, I believe is already in there. Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren. They're already in there. Um, so they're already essentially going to have a spot and we'll see if any, if everybody else does too. We'll just wait on that. They're, they got to secure some funding and they got to do some other stuff before they're officially allowed to join that so without further ado guys i'm going to play this video i don't know how many of you guys have already seen it but um i i'm just glad to be back guys and we're gonna listen to this and you're gonna freak out with me hopefully because th this is marvel announcing the next phase uh, this this is after they've already they already announced the phase look at this so this is phase four this is phase four thank you now 
There's a lot of other stuff we didn't get a chance so to So you can see in the background today. they've already announced all the we, we big movies. You can see all the you can see the entire Facebook chart. Come up. We, didn't, we didn't mention the fact that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is coming. Guardians 3. It's not on there, surprisingly. Talk about Captain Marvel 2. Captain Marvel 2. I'm so excited for that one. I didn't even have time to talk about the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four is announced. And there's, and there's, and there's, there's no time left to talk about mutants. No time left to talk about mutants. <laughs> it's but, great. You know what? All that stuff's been rumored. You've heard about rumors. But I want to leave you today with one more thing that I don't think has been rumored about. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Academy Award winner, Mahershala Ali. So crazy, dude. <laughs> Apparently Mahershala called Marvel and uh, he actually said he wanted to play Blade. And Marvel's like, we're not saying no to you. Mahershala, Mahershala Ali wants to play Blade. Like, we're gonna let you play like Blade. You your own hat, Mahershala. So at this you point, did. when I first saw it, I didn't even what know that? that he was it was Blade, and I was like, what is he playing? <laughs> Crowd loses the absolute shit. Crowd loses the shit. Sorry guys, I didn't, I, I'm not trying to swear. I'm trying to cut down on my swear. Thank you, Hall H. We'll see you next time. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. So that was essentially the, the that was essentially the biggest the biggest name drops from the entire thing. Guardians three, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, um, Blade, and everything else, guys. There's gonna be a new Spider Man thrown in there. All building probably towards whatever is next in the phase lineup. Probably something to do with the scrolls, I would imagine, because they introduced those. So I am so excited, guys. And thank you guys for actually watching this video after such a long time such a long hiatus um i definitely i definitely need to do better when it comes to this if i want to pursue this this avenue like if i want to if i want to do this in my spare time and try to grow this channel and be so it can be everything it can be i owe it to all you guys and i owe it to myself and i owe it to the potential i have for this because i do enjoy this guys everyone knows i love technology and i love doing this stuff so i really do appreciate you guys watching there's a lot more to come lot more going on guys um i'm gonna leave you guys with this and i'm gonna leave you guys with another thing um like i said we talked a lot about this in the video when it comes to where you spend your time and what you dedicate your time to and what you want and what you get out of the, what you dedicate your time to and i just want to let you guys know that we all, we all have a different road here in this life and i do this often I do this very often when it comes to things like I like to compare myself to other people. And if I see someone else that has um, a, di a, a different, they're doing something different with their life, whether it be they're going to school for something. And obviously I've been in and out of school, but if like, I see someone that's on a direct path, sometimes I feel very insecure about myself. Um, but I'm trying to be less and less like that because it's just not, it's just not worth it guys. You have your own path in this life and you have your own individual experience here. If you can help it, don't compare your path to anybody else's path because your path is your own unique situation in life and it's very special to you and you should that you should you should spend your life doing what you like doing and if there's if um if there's something that you want to do with your life and there's people that try to tell you no or try to convince you that your path is not something that you should be trying to pursue you need to tell those people no and sometimes it's really hard but you need to make sure for yourself because you're going to die one day it's very morbid to say that but just 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 do what you want to do with your life because your life is all that matters to you and not saying that your life is all, is the only thing that matters but your life matters the most to you it's all that matters right now is is you finding your purpose and your and what you want to do and do not let anybody else tell you otherwise because that is a complete waste Anyways, guys, that was pretty deep. So I'm going to cut it off right now, guys, trying to make this video relatively short. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, don't like it. Um, but I really appreciate it, guys. I'm back. We're going we're gonna to have a lot of fun on this channel. Uh, this has been The Beacon of Nick, and I am signing off.